Welcome back to another episode of Dehydrating with Camo, where today we are dehydrating yellow squash, aka summer squash. Strainer here. here. This is yeah, it's already got some chicken in it. It's right here. Right in there. So I, sure. I got the. Uh, <laughs> What's going on guys? So, we're gonna do some squash today. I was actually in, uh, not necessarily a local grocery, about two towns up, uh, next to where I go laundry matting. Yes, I use the word laundry matting. That's a term now, Camel created that word, laundry matting. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's not a, it's kinda like a marketplace, kinda like a niche place. It's not the cheapest place in Ufala to go shopping, but, I go in there sometimes because they have some good deals. When I did the uh, dehydrating of the uh, potatoes, uh, I got that 10 pound bag of potatoes for $1.99, which was absolutely amazing. So I went back today, well, went back uh, the other day and found one of the two deals that you're gonna see later on. Um, but this one here is squash, yellow squash, AKA summer squash. And I got it for 99 cents. Which I don't think that's a bad deal. I don't normally buy squash, so if you look at what squash actually costs per pound, that is actually a better deal right there. So what we're gonna do is dehydrate that guy today, and I want to give you a couple of things right off the bat. Uh, two things I learned about squash when you're dehydrating it. There's there two different types of squash. You have your summer squash, which is your yellow squash your kind of oblonged, banana sized looking type squash. Uh, also zucchini falls in the summer squash category. And then you have your winter squash, which is more of your rounder, kind of like a pumpkin type size, not size wise, a pumpkin type shape uh, squash. Now, there's different things on the forums out there about how exactly you should go about doing this. but. From my reading and research, the overall consensus is that with summer squash, you do not need to blanch it. You can blanch it, it's not gonna hurt a thing, but it's not gonna hurt anything if you don't blanch it. So summer squash, you should not have to blanch it, you should be able to wash it, chop it up, and throw it in your dehydrator. You should be good to go. Your winter squash, on the other hand, has something in it, I would assume some type of um, starch, if you will, uh, and you guys out there in the comments, uh, I forget exactly what it said, the difference between the summer squash and the winter squash as far as blanching is concerned. But for your winter squash, you're going to need to at least blanch them for 30 minutes before you actually put them in your dehydrator, okay? So that's just a little tip. So let's go ahead and dice these guys open and uh, let's get started. All right guys, so the first thing you wanna do with your squash is you wanna wash it off. Uh, these squash, for some reason, were exceptionally dirty. And so you want to make sure that you wash them off, just like with any fruit or vegetable that you're going to dehydrate or any meat that you're going to do, you want to make sure that it's good and clean. Now, some of you are going, why are you washing with a sponge, Gemma? Well, because <laughs> in the camper, my water does still not work. So I am having to... Uh, adjust, if you will, to not having water, running water in the camper. But I do have water, so that is definitely uh, a plus. So I want to wash these off and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and get to chopping them up. Alrighty guys, so what we're going to do now is chop up our squash here, our yellow squash. So what I'm going to do is cut off the ends of each one of the squash as close as possible because I don't want to waste any squash. And then the remainder of the squash, I'm going to cut pretty thin. Just going to cut it relatively about a quarter of an inch to a half inch thick. Now some people, I believe some of the squashes have seeds, so some people were saying that they uh, 
kind of cut out the seeds or something like that. But it's really, to me, it's kind of irrelevant because when it dehydrates down, you won't notice it anymore. And what you can do with this dehydrated squash is you can eat it just like, like squash chips, like a snack. Or you can do a uh, meal like I'm going to be doing, which is a onions and squash meal. And uh, go from there. So let me go ahead and finish cutting off the rest of these, and then we'll go ahead and transfer them to the dehydrator. All right, guys, we got our squash all cut up and in the containers there. Just kind of show you what it looks like. You want to make sure, just like anything else you put in your dehydrator, that you don't have uh, your your uh, dehydrated pieces on top of each other. You want to make sure they have their own space. Uh, with the size squash, yellow squash that I had, I was able to get two chopped up squash per tray. So I had uh, two, four, six, eight. I had eight pieces of squash. I was able to get exactly all the squash into my dehydrator with my four trays. Um, so, now what we're going to do guys is put the top back on her, and we're going to turn her around so I can see her, <laughs> and we're going to turn her around here, and we're going to go ahead and turn her on. Now with summer squash, uh, yellow squash is what I have here, what we're going to do is, uh, if you have a dehydrator that has a thermostat on it. You want to make sure that you set your thermostat to approximately 135 degrees and you're going to dehydrate your, your summer squash for anywhere from 10 to 14 hours. Okay? Alright guys, it's been about 14 hours. Let's turn the guy off and let's take a look what they look like. Here. Ah, check it out guys. So this is not even a quarter of what they look like when they were in there. Okay, maybe a quarter. So let's uh, focus in a little bit here. There we go. So you know they're done when you pick it up and it just breaks open like that. Uh, you don't want any mushiness inside. It just needs to break open like that and fall apart. And as you see, all the trays look the same. Uh, let's take a look at the next tray here. All the same, guys. So that is dehydrating uh, squash there. So what we're going to do now is take the eight pieces of squash that I have chopped up and put in the dehydrator and fill them into one of our uh, quart sized jars. And let's see how much uh, eight of those will squash come up to. Be right back in just a moment. All right, guys. So this is what eight uh, diced squash come down to be about comes down to be about a half of a quart jar so uh, I can probably get another eight squash chop them up dehydrate them and fill up this one jar so to be 16 squash guys will fill up one pint size jar and that's absolutely amazing so I'm gonna go ahead and seal this guy up and put him in the cabinet uh, my immediate cabinet which is this cabinet here I'll go up here with the uh, potatoes up here I'll be using for an immediate meal and uh, yeah, that is how you dehydrate squash, guys. Eight squash, right there, half a quart jars. So that's uh, how to dehydrate squash, guys. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Um, if you don't mind, please like, share, and subscribe. Your support is very much uh, uh, respected and appreciated. Uh, you guys can uh, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Camelmanian TV. Uh, you can also email me at Camelmanian TV at gmail.com. And you can also go to my website, www.camelmanian.com. Guys, thank you very much for uh, joining me today on Dehydrating with Camo. I hope this helped you out a lot. And uh, we'll catch up with you next time. Later, guys.